why this NASA battery may be the future of energy storage. Imagine a world where the answer to our energy storage misery lies in the same batteries that power satellites in the depths of space. Sounds puzzling, right? Well, what if we tell you that Enervenue is trying to make it a reality? But how? Today, let's find out why NASA's trusty nickel hydrogen batteries might just be the future of large scale energy storage and why it's taken this long to bring them back down to Earth. Here we go. A battery that's tough and lasts longer than usual without needing much care is the nickel hydrogen battery, NHB. It is like a scuba tank for storing energy. The NHB is a special battery made by combining the positive part of a nickel cadmium battery with the negative part of a hydrogen fuel cell, which makes it capable of storing a lot of energy and lasting a long time. The primary ingredient used is highly pressurized hydrogen gas, which is much more pressurized than the air in your car's tires. The pressure is so high that the battery stores more energy in a smaller space, which is great for satellites and space objects. The pressure also helps the hydrogen move around inside the battery, making it more efficient. These batteries have a porous structure, and the high pressure in them allows the battery's liquid part to squeeze into the tiny holes in the structure, increasing its energy density. This is an important part because this way, batteries can hold as much energy as possible in a small space. So we can call these nickel hydrogen batteries the superheroes of all other batteries. And the reason is, they can keep working really well even after being used over and over again 30,000 times, which is about 30 years. And the best part is, they don't need any maintenance. Also, these batteries are great with temperature and have the ability to handle really hot and really cold conditions, like the extreme temperatures in space. Impressive, right? But the features don't end here, as these batteries can give out 560 watts of power, which is pretty impressive. Plus, if you need more power, you can connect more of these batteries. Comparison with lithium ion batteries. When compared with the lithium ion batteries, NHBs are not as energy dense as lithium batteries, which are commonly used today. Li-ion has more energy stores in a similar amount of space, but NHB has various advantages, like they are not sensitive to temperature and can work in extreme conditions, like in space. Also, they don't require heating or cooling systems like lithium ion batteries, which can save money and make them safer. One big safety advantage of NHB is that they don't have thermal runaway issues like lithium ion batteries, which can catch fire. While hydrogen is flammable, it's lighter than air and quickly disperses into non-flammable concentrations if it escapes, making it highly safe. Another advantage here is that these batteries don't form dendrites, which are tiny structures that can cause short circuits and fires in other types of batteries. This makes nickel hydrogen batteries low maintenance and long lasting. In the end, we can say that the chemistry of these NHBs is simple, and they are relatively easy to manufacture with fewer components compared to other batteries, because nickel and hydrogen, their main ingredients, are readily available. You might be wondering why we're talking about these batteries now. Well, these amazing batteries were originally created for space satellites and probes. They were made by a group called ComSat Laboratories, who were asked by President Kennedy to figure out how to use satellites for communication. In the 1970s, they started experimenting with these batteries, taking the best parts of other battery and fuel cell technologies. It was like putting together pieces of a puzzle to create something new and powerful. After some time, the Com Set laboratories ended up with a battery that could last a really long time and was perfect for satellites. These batteries powered important things like the International Space Station, ISS, the Hubble Telescope, and even the Mars Rover. And the most amazing part of these is they are so good that they could also help with storing energy for our homes and cities. So they haven't been used earlier because we needed to understand how these batteries work and how to make them even better for Earth. It took a while for Enervenue to see the battery's potential for storing energy on a large scale, like in our cities. But now that we know how amazing they are, they could become a big part of our clean energy future. That's all for today. Share your views on whether NHBs can be the future of energy storage in the comments below and subscribe for more.